25 years, more in team this year, more 94. Glass Animals right there. The name of that track is called Heat Waves. I love the vibe, man. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome uh, to your morning after. And uh, right about now, it's time for us to holler at Roomy, Roomy Room, the player from the Himalaya, the sneaking deacon, the man with the plan, the one who's going to give us our update in the world of sports, man. Good morning, Roomy. What's good, my friend? Hey, don't put a water, man. We got good morning, Bombers. This is Sideline Sports and Entertainment Bombers. Turning stories from the sidelines to the headlines here only on 194.9 FM. Thank you, everybody, for joining us on this fantabulous Friday. Y'all know what it is. We flex, we flex on, Friday. on Fridays. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, ain't gonna hop right into our sweater report. And today, um, hey, it's basically all international sports, um, all basketball as well. Um, actually gotta say condolences, man, out to the out to the family and um I guess alumni of Kentucky Wildcats, Terrence Clark, who is a former well, former basketball player for the university. He actually died in a car accident yesterday. Uh, he was actually planning on entering the draft and was actually working out in LA. And um I, I the reason I'm bringing this up, man, kids, hey, if you're all out there driving or Basically, anybody out there driving, man, y'all are here to the rules of the road. Um, apparently, and uh, apparently, Terrence, he was driving in a car, ran a red light, ended up getting into an accident, and um, yeah, lost his life. Again, I'm sad to see that happen. Um, just tragedy to um, lose a remarkable talent or a promising young talent there for the NBA. Again, condolences out to all the Kentucky Wildcats and the family of Terrence Clark. Um, so other news from the NBA. Um, I know we were talking about Trey Young yesterday. So um, it, apparently he has a left sprain, a left ankle sprain. Um, he's going to be out for... They're looking at about maybe two to three more games, um, just basically until the swelling goes down um, in his ankle. So, um, yeah, it wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad. Again, um, just out of precaution, like you said, um, they'll uh, give him uh, a couple of games breaks, and hopefully he'll have a return next week. Um, just going through the scoreboard from last night. We had a couple of games. Um, the Actually, we had the – the Mavericks beating up on the Lakers last night, 115, 110, the final score there. The Suns and the Celtics, yeah, that was a game. Um, final score there, 99 to 86. Um, just check it on our boy, DeAndre Eaton, who um, I think um, I think the NBA has kind of overruled me. They do not like um, my Mr. Double Double <laughs> with Mr. Efficiency. <laughs> so um, as far as DeAndre Eaton last night, man, finishing up with 10 points, nine rebounds, assists, a steal, and a block. Um, some of the other notables there, oh, Chris Paul, man, he's been doing his thing for the past couple of games. He finished up with 22 points last night. Um, then for the Celtics, uh, Kemba Walker finishing up with 32 points and um, Jason Tatum with 15 points for the Lakers. I'm sorry, for the Celtics in that win. Uh, some of the other scores from around the league, you had the Pelicans over the Magic, 135 to 100. The Bucks over the 76ers, 124 to 117. Yeah, Giannis Antetokounmpo gets the better of Joel Embiid. As a matter of fact, I'm just looking at the matchup between both of them. Joel Embiid finishing up with 24 points last night. And um, and the Greek freak, Giannis, finishing up with 27 points last night. 16 rebounds, six assists, two steals, and a block in that game. I think he definitely was the better one in that matchup last night. Um, the only other games on the schedule were the Spurs and the Pistons. The Spurs winning that game, 106-91, to and the Bulls coming out on top of the Hornets, 108-91 to was the final score there. Uh, got some news from baseball. Hey, our boy Jazz Chisholm, man, he is, yeah, something to something – to, I, something to marvel. He's going definitely looking good this season. Um, the Marlins oh, and they took on the Giants the Marlins, last yeah, yesterday, yeah, and the Giants and the won that game, three to zero three was the zero final score there. So, um, so yeah, as far as sports, um, that is definitely a wrap. And big up, yeah, we completed another week of going into the weekend. Everybody, stay safe. Please mask up, everybody. Please mask up. And um, yeah, man. Um, hopefully, we get to do it again all on Monday morning. Y'all know I normally talk really, really bad to, to him. Uh, mainly because that's my friend. 
I mean, but when he does do something good, uh, I got to make a notable mention of it as well. So I want to say thank you, my friend, for your assistance and uh, helping me and Bodine um, earlier this week and accomplishing something that we're working on for uh, Carabite International Festival. I can't remember the exact full name of the, the event, but I want to thank you publicly for your assistance in that effort. I want a big shout out to Goldie's, Goldie himself and, of course, the family for you know making us so comfortable and you know, allowing us to use the space. Don't forget lunch today, all of y'all. You know, trying to get some scrumptious in your belly. Boy, you see the size. You saw the size of my plate, right? Yeah, <laughs> I, yeah, I, yeah I, I had actually, yesterday. I had two. I had two portions inside that one plate because I couldn't. <laughs> I thought I, as good as it was, I really tried, bro, and I just could not finish my food in one sitting yesterday without completely making myself sick. So I decided to split up in two and I enjoyed it the second time even more than the first time. So shout out to, to Goalies. Like I said, ladies and gentlemen, go out, get yourself some scrumptious today. We want to thank Kenya, uh, Keisha, the whole team over there at Goalies, man, for always you know, hooking me up and making sure that things go right whenever I call on them, man. So shout out to Goalies. Right there, RYK, AK, the Fish Fry. Just want to make sure I publicly thank those folks for assisting me in my efforts this week. Now, hey. Hey, I just want to say something big up. It was also a pleasure working with you, you know, when we do stuff outside of work. And, um, you know, I just want to tell the folks, hey, as messed up as Big L is, every <laughs> once in a while, he's come, he's come true, you know, he's come true in the clutch. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, today we also celebrate my brother, Dave One MD's night. Don't forget Team MD's and Movie Group. They're presenting to you MD's birthday celebration, a tribute to a life well lived. That's going on tonight, 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 8 p.m. on his YouTube channel, all right? So that's MD's music, YouTube. You are going to enjoy yourselves, man. Your favorite entertainers of the 242. And even some special guests. I can't tell you everything. So special guests are going to be shelling out as well. But shout out to D Mark, big up Avi, big up Bodine, big up Sammy Star, uh, Sosa Man, Benji, Wendy and Dyson, Sketch, Mahim and Trey, Jay Shepard, Patrice Morel. I mean, this list goes on and on and on with great Bahamian talents who are celebrating their brother in MD's day one night. It's actually time for me to show you a throwback joint in this hour as well. And I figured, hey, what better way to celebrate than to blaze off one of the tracks for my brethren, MD's, as one of my throwback joints. So I'm going to drop it on you right now. It's actually a personal favorite too. This is time hard. And if you've ever accomplished something that you thought you couldn't do, then this is an anthem for you as well. All right? You know they say time's hard. It's the best music on the planet. All right? Good morning. Good morning. 